Finally, the rock has come back. That's right, I am going to be talking about what the feud between the rock and CM Punk is going to be. Boots to asses on one end and as well the other end needs to faces with CM Punk and the rock. And with the return last night, I was definitely ecstatic for it, of course wearing the I Bring It t-shirt and getting very excited for it and I was checking out the past rock returns just to get myself a little bit more excited and pumped up for it and I thought it was well worth it between these two I was really hoping that maybe we will get those world words and we were actually been uh, able to get a shoot at a CM Punk the first one in a long time that we got that Las Vegas promo shoot at a CM Punk and how he's feeling very frustrated and he was able to give his own feelings on about the rock and uh, about this whole field and how it's going to be going and everything and how he feels about that so uh, you know with this he definitely lived up to it and with this I think it's going to be most likely an unpredictable type of match where anything can really happen and even though it is more like a Wrestlemania type match but it's only at the Royal Rumble and it could actually go into Wrestlemania 29 too Another, I think about it. So, since The Rock is actually going to be wrestling at Elimination Chamber, and there could be, you know, with that match, uh, actual rematch from the Royal Rumble, and this time with the Elimination Chamber, it would be the first time since The Rock has ever faced anyone in that type of matchup, and that is the only match stipulation that he really has never been in, uh, unlike the Money in the Bank ladder match, but with this one, uh, we get to see him in this type of matchup and to see how he's going to be able to withstand that and that's going to be awesome too for that pay-per-view. Uh, but it's going to be really cool on how uh, the actual any outcome is going to be able to come to play. Is the Shield going to be involved? I thought they were going to be involved during their actual promo but they were actually saved for the right back and CM Punk match. So is it going to be somewhat kind of like that and the Shield is going to come out and maybe uh, interfere after the match is over or maybe get like a run in or something like that and The Rock somehow wins so I'm still basically a uh, split between the two on who I really want to win uh, the fan of me definitely does want The Rock to win and it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to be able to keep up with the schedule since he is going to be appearing on Smackdown uh, this upcoming Friday he's going to be there for the first time in a long time and I feel like this is going to be more towards him. And I don't think really CM Punk would come out for SmackDown on how he's going to be talking and everything. So uh, it would be nice to actually see The Rock actually have a match and to be prepared more for the Royal Rumble. But, you know, that's fine. He doesn't really need that. And we're going to be seeing him throughout the whole entire road for WrestleMania. And uh, that's really fine and dandy just to have that. So... You know, it's going to be really exciting, and it's got that unpredictable type of feeling, and I feel like that CM Punk is going to be mainly that guy that won it and actually hold the title all the way up into WrestleMania. And by the time with the Royal Rumble, I am going to be looking forward more to the rest of the pay-per-view with the Royal Rumble match, and I will still do my predictions on how I feel about that and who I want to win, so that's definitely still going to be planned. But, uh, you know, I feel like I should get my thoughts here on how I feel about this overall and, uh, you know, how excited that I was last night about hearing about those two being able to talk about each other and just to get everyone excited. And uh, this is going to be really an amazing match, I think. And we've already seen how uh, CM Punk and John Cena were able to do battle with, with The Rock and John Cena, how they were able to go head-to-head -head now. If John Cena does get involved eventually later on in this feud and make it a triple threat at WrestleMania, that would be actually a really sick match to see and something uh, to look really forward to as well. Uh, instead of having the Rocky John Cena too, even though I really wouldn't mind that either. I can see that happening probably not at WrestleMania, but maybe like a Royal Rumble type of pay-per-view and in the Big Four pay-per-view type of match like that. I think that would be fine for that. So, uh, you know, only time will tell and exactly what will happen. So it's going to be something to just sit back, relax, and enjoy it and just really see how it's going to be played out and everything. And uh, it'll be something worth looking forward for for the Royal Rumble and the first pay-per-view of 2013. And uh, we'll see what happens with there. So uh, with that, I do leave this question with you guys. Who do you feel should win? 
Do you think it's going to be more towards The Rock? And are you excited for him being able to hold the WWE title? And, you know, how he's able to say that he didn't really turn on the people like CM Punk did. And how he was always loyal in some sort of way, whether it's him be doing movies or actually coming back and giving more back to the people. And that's how I feel about The Rock every time when he comes back uh, for movies and everything. But, you know, that's just me. Uh, you guys might think differently about that. You don't have to really like The Rock either, too, as well. Um, I was actually kind of uh, being able to do a video response to Chronics from the Most Extreme Wrestling. That's why I was able to do this video. So it, it is a little bit uh, kind of like a video response, but it just inspired me more to want to do a video on this a little bit early and just to be, uh, you know, able to express my opinions and thoughts on how I feel about this match and how I think it would be well worth it. So anyway, uh, I think it basically sums down on how I feel anyway, and uh, I'm not really going to be saying, you know, far too much about it. So anyway, we'll see what happens. And um, that about does it for me. So who are you going to be going for? Are you on Team Reagan or are you on basically Team CM Punk? Is it going to be Boots to Asses or Knees to Faces? Which one do you prefer? How do you feel about the outcome? What do you think is going to happen? What do you think should happen? And uh, with that being said, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DaveRivera1989. Still looking to do the TNA pay-per-view predictions and as well the Royal Rumble predictions and review and uh, the TNA review. And as well, I will be a part of the Google Plus stream, which will be for the Royal Rumble 2013 pre-show. Of course, SED will be hosting that on Samanaka HD before the actual Royal Rumble pay-per-view starts at 3 p.m. So... I will leave a link down below and as well for the Rolling Mobile predictions video. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Peace.